So initially I was going to just to wear my top. I was thinking my shoulders are so great. Everyone has to see them. But then I decided nah. Uh, nah. Not gonna do that. <laughs> shoulders are covered. Um I don't know why. I just I just it popped up in a conversation with a friend. We were talking about all the things that are happening. And yeah, I, I was, we were talking about the 70s and rock music and about a certain young actress's photos in a magazine that ends with boy. And she was 11 and like completely naked in a magazine, which is a completely naked magazine to begin with. And so we were talking about these things, and I realized, yeah, this is how things were. Like, the 70s were pushing all kinds of open sexuality and, like, open paraphilias. Go get a dictionary. And and I realized, yeah, it, it all stopped with 1980. Because since we were also, I've been talking also with people about the music business, uh, about the disco era about all those really great musicians of the late 70s that made such amazing music and how it was very much um, gay-oriented, gay club-oriented, and how all these things just, they completely got demolished with 1980. I'm going to put it like this. 1980, the big virus of the time, which we still have. And, and this virus just... It broke it off. It really broke it off. And people became prudish and conservative. Like all of a sudden. N not all of a sudden, but after certain experiences they did. So I was just thinking, interestingly, like we had a lot of things happening in this year, 2020. Like right in the beginning, we got a virus. Um which is changing us. It's changing us extremely. So I'm just thinking, is it going to do the same like the other one in 1980 that just switched people's thoughts from follow your paraphilia to try to stay healthy, try to improve your lifestyle? Um, the life out there is dangerous. Going to a club is dangerous. Going to the supermarket is dangerous. Um, where is this going to bring us? And I think it's going to bring us into a big, big knack. <laughs> cut off, cut away of whatever's happening um, into something different. And it's very interesting that, you know, the virus has come like in, a, in an exact decade, like 1980, 2020. It's interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going into any conspiracies. I, I don't, feel like it if it's natural or not if the one in 1980 was natural or not it doesn't matter it's just that it's going to change us and maybe maybe this kind of going back to re-evaluation of what you're doing maybe this would bring us a lot maybe i'm just saying that there is an interesting like i said very interesting correlation here. Something started with 1968, with the 70s, it was going up, 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 and then it stopped in 1980. The 80s passed, like they were like tame, tame-ish, and then the 90s, and then just, you know, 90s were the decade where we had to be convinced that we are trash. Everything was about being trash, having greasy hair, wanting to kill yourself, uh, being worthless, having no future, no future, no future. <sighs> and then after a decade of convincing your trash, taking drugs, drugs went up, etc., etc., we came where we are now. It's very interesting where this is going to lead. 